Welcome to GameBench, providing a full suite of performance testing tools trusted by the biggest gaming studios and smartphone makers. In this video, we'll explore some features on the GameBench desktop app, web dashboard, and a brief introduction to the metrics recorded for your game. With the GameBench desktop app open, plug your device into your desktop via USB. Make sure your device is selected in the top left of your screen and select the game you're testing. Hit the record icon to begin recording your session and start playing your game. Now you can see GameBench is recording every metric in the game and capturing screenshots every second. By default, we display graphs of frames per second, CPU usage, and memory usage. To view additional graphs, click the blue plus icon in the bottom right. Below that is the sync log, capturing every event from your game. We are platform agnostic, so you can test any software, Android or iOS, on any device, PC or Mac. When you're finished testing, click the stop icon and your session data will automatically sync to your web dashboard. The GameBench web dashboard is where you can manage and review all of your saved sessions. Here's the session we just recorded. Just click on the session to see the overview. This has all of your information, including the session date, the version of the game, and the user running the test. This is very important to QA teams for management to track KPIs. Click on any tab to open a detailed view of the data gathered for that metric. You can click on these direction icons to rotate the orientation of the screenshots. Again, we capture a screenshot every second so that your QA team can communicate exactly what is happening in the game in relation to the metrics over time. When a problem is identified, your team can even escalate it as a JIRA ticket right here by clicking the blue JIRA icon in the top left. The ticket will include a link to the session so developers can see exactly what was happening and replicate the issue themselves. Another useful feature is the chart selection option in the top right of the chart window. Once selected, highlight a section of the frame rate chart and you'll be given a view of every metric we record for that time of the session. This can be helpful in seeing how spike or drops in one metric, like frames per second, might affect or be affected by other metrics like CPU or GPU usage. With this level of insight, your team can better communicate, diagnose, and ultimately resolve issues that they couldn't with vague statements like, there are some lags in this part of the game. GameBench has many other metrics available for detailed analysis, such as power consumption, CPU, GPU, memory, and network usage, with even more on the horizon. We continue to expand and improve our tools to give the developer community a complete performance testing solution. Thank you for your interest in GameBench. For more tutorials and feature announcements, visit our YouTube channel or GameBench.net.